Before get into the concept, we would like to welcome you all to subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can get all the notifications whenever we upload a new concept like this. Our concepts are basically based on advanced healthcare concepts where we can educate the students and the healthcare professionals. They can keep update their knowledge based on the modern and trending healthcare topics. So we would like to remind you all to subscribe our YouTube channel, please. Now let's get into the topic. The word telehealth defines as the use of electronic information and telecommunication technologies to support long distance clinical health care, patient and professional health related education, public health and public health administration. Technologies include video conferencing, the internet, store and forward imaging, streaming media, and terrestrial and wireless communications. In another word, telehealth is the remote exchange of the medical data between a patient at home and their clinicians to assist in diagnosis and monitoring typically used to support patients with long-term conditions including chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic heart failure, diabetes and epilepsy. Also, telehealth encompasses a broad variety of technologies and tactics to deliver virtual medical, health and education services. These include but are not at all limited to dentistry, counselling, physical and occupational therapy, home health, chronic disease monitoring and management, disaster management, consumer and professional education. Therefore, telehealth is not a specific service, but a collection of means to enhance care and education delivery via the technologies of telecommunication. Telehealth works by monitoring vital signs such as body temperature, pulse rate, respiration rate, and along with that blood pressure and transmitting the medical data via a telephone line or broadband to a telehealth monitoring center or a healthcare professional. Where it is monitored against parameters set by the individual's clinician. Telehealth examples also include virtual home healthcare where patients such as the chronically ill or the elderly may receive guidance in certain procedures while remaining at home. Telehealth has also made it easier for healthcare workers in remote field settings to obtain guidance from professionals elsewhere in diagnosis, care and referral of patients. Training can sometimes also be delivered via telehealth schemes or with related technologies such as e-health which makes use of small computers and internet. Now let's see some benefits of this telehealth technology. There are real benefits for both the patient and the clinician. The individual patient has more control and understanding of their long-term health condition and the clinicians utilizing telehealth as part of a care pathway can ensure that they are protectively involved in the ongoing well-being of the patient, managing timely interventions and helping to improve their patient's quality of life. Well-designed telehealth schemes can improve healthcare access and outcomes, particularly for chronic disease treatment and for vulnerable groups. Not only do they reduce demands on crowded facilities, but they also create cost savings and make the health sector more resilient. Since remote communication and treatment of patients 
reduces the number of visits for health services, both transport related emissions and emissions related to operational requirements are reduced. In addition, fewer space demands can potentially result in smaller health facilities with concurrent reductions in construction materials energy and water consumption waste and all overall environment impacts. Finally, let's see some telehealth modalities or applications. Telehealth encompasses four distinct domain of applications. These are commonly known as live video conferencing, live two-way interaction between a person and a provider using audio-visual telecommunication technology. This type of service is also referred to as real-time and may serve as a substitute for an interperson encounter when it is not available. Live video can be used for both consultative and diagnostic and treatment services. Second one is store and forward video conferencing. Transmission of recorded health history, recorded videos and digital images such as x-rays and photos through a secure electronic communication system to a practitioner, usually a specialist who uses the information to evaluate the case or render a service outside of a real-time or live interaction. As compared to a real-time visit, this service provides access to the medical data after it has been collected and involved communication tools such as secure email. Third application is remote patient monitoring, which is also known as RPM. Personal health and medical data collection from an individual in one location via electronic communication technologies which is transmitted to a healthcare provider for review, sometimes via a data processing service, who may be in a different location and time for use in care and related support. This type of service allows a healthcare provider to continue to track healthcare data for a patient once released to home or a care facility, reducing readmission rates. Final application is mobile health or M health. Healthcare and public health practice and education supported by mobile communication devices such as cell phones tablet computers and personal digital assistants known as PDAs. The delivering information may include general education information, targeted text messages that promote healthy behaviors and notifications about disease outbreaks.